The ratio test is a convergence and divergence test for infinite series. A major advantage of the ratio test is that it's completely mechanical. Unlike the comparison test or the limit comparison test, where you have to decide what you want to compare the series to, the ratio test is plug and play. The disadvantage of the ratio test is that it sometimes fails. What is the ratio test? Let's give a little background before we state it. So it will look like it was pulled out of the ether. The ratio test is based on geometric series. So series of the form a r to the n. Now we know that these series converge if the absolute value of r is less than one and diverge if the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to one. And the key observation that's going to get us to the ratio test is that you can think of r as a ratio of terms. That is to say, if you call the nth term of this series x sub n, then the absolute value of r, which determines convergence and divergence, is the absolute value of x sub n plus 1 divided by the absolute value of x sub n. x sub n plus 1 is a times r to the n plus 1. x sub n is a times r to the n. And this genuinely is R. So that gives us the idea that we might be able to use this ratio to study the convergence or divergence of other series. And from this comes the ratio test. The ratio test for an arbitrary series involves looking at these ratios. Having said that, there are a few differences. First of all, for an arbitrary series, these ratios won't be constant. So asking whether this ratio is greater than one or less than one doesn't make any sense. Instead, we look at the limit of these ratios as n goes to infinity. And if the limit of this ratio is less than one, 
then just as geometric series would lead us to expect. This series converges. In fact, we can say more than that. Thanks to these absolute values, we can say that the series converges absolutely. If the limit as n goes to infinity, of this ratio is greater than one, then just as we might expect from this, the series diverges. But notice a difference. With geometric series, this inequality is a greater than or equal to. Here, the inequality is strict. So there's still a case we need to look at. What if the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of this ratio equals one. Well, unfortunately, this case represents a failure of the ratio test. We get no information. It could converge. It could converge absolutely. It could diverge. We don't get anything. So the ratio test is powerful. We'll use it frequently when we get to Taylor series. And it does have the advantage that because of the way it's set up, we can plug and play. We don't need to know going into this what we think the series is doing, we just find this ratio and take a limit, but it can fail. So it's not a one size fits all solution to these convergence and divergence problems.